Welcome to jazztime.com. Today we're going to be reviewing the super cool Omega 300 Spectre watch. This is a limited watch, so I'm really very proud to present this to you today and do a review on it. We're going to do an unboxing, show you a little bit about how this watch works, why it's so special, what it comes with. Okay, so here is the watch itself. There it is, the Omega Spectre watch at 300M. The model number on this is 233.32.41.21.01.001. Okay, let's take a look. Let's start by looking at what it comes with. Usually it comes with this manual. This isn't specific to Omega. It comes in a bunch of different languages. It usually has a warranty card that looks like such. And a pictogram that looks like such. And a leather car carrier that holds it. Now this being an Omega Spectre limited edition is going to come in this super huge box and it has a combination on it. What do you guys think the combination is? Because I forgot. Well, let's try 007. And bam, of course it opens up. And let's see what this watch comes with. Now first it comes with this very uh, stainless steel strap. Now you can swap out the nylon NATO strap that you see here with the stainless steel that I have in my hand. This one's sealed because it's brand new, so I'm not gonna take it apart. I'm gonna point out a couple things though. You'll notice here on the strap itself that it's in, uh, engraved with the words 007. And that's because this is a special edition. It sets it apart from the regular 300s that don't have this. Another cool thing that I like, and I think that most consumers uh, think is, is quite cool is, do you notice that the screws here, they, they're, they're actual screws, right where my finger's pointing? And that's because before it, they were pins and now they're screws. And that's just, it's just, it's more sturdy. It's more keeping with the times, and they've had to uh, redesign this bracelet to make it just, you know, uh, just better. Okay? Now, it's hard for you guys to see this at home, but when I feel the quality of this bracelet, I can definitely feel it's very nice. And it's going to be all brushed at where my thumb is going, and that's because this is a James Bond watch. It's not meant to be fancy. It's meant to look rugged, tough, cool, awesome. Okay, so that's a stainless steel strap. Let's see what else it comes with. Also comes with this loop. Not sure why exactly they would have a loop, but they do. Okay, now let's move on to the watch itself and, and talk about the watch. Now, when I look at this watch, I think, well, it just looks like a normal watch. But then when I get a little closer, I realize, you know what? This is not just a watch. This is a James Bond watch, and immediately, I realized that this is something special, something very special, and I'm going to tell you why. Now James Bond, he initially started wearing the Submariner, then he wore the Omega 300M with the blue uh, bezel, then he changed over to the Planet Ocean, and now he has this watch that has this peculiar band. Now what's up with this band? It's a NATO strap, it's nylon, why put a nylon strap on such an expensive watch? Well, because you're James Bond. You can do anything you damn well please. Now, if you want to wear a NATO strap on this super expensive watch and you're James Bond, well, who's to tell you no? Pretty much nobody. So, let's take a look at this band itself and see why is it so special. Well, one, look at this, this little, key, this is called the keeper loop, by the way. The keeper loop has, what do you see there? That's a 007 engraved keeper loop. The other side doesn't have anything, and the, the far side has an Omega emblem stitched in on the back. I think that's pretty cool. I mean, they've really l paid attention to the details on this watch, if you look at it. Now, having the nylon strap is actually kind of a throwback to when the old days in James Bond where they wore the Submariner with the NATO strap. I think that's really cool because, you know, the Spectre idea is that he's going back to his roots, you know, and therefore you should wear a watch similar to, to, those, to those old days. And I think this watch really accomplishes it, that. Okay, I want to show you a couple things about the, the finish on this watch. And now, you'll notice here that it's high polished, but it's like actually a mixture uh, of high polish and it has this sort of extra edge right here. Do you guys notice that? Man, you know how hard it is to, to, to polish and keep the watch with this kind of finish? It's nuts. It's really difficult. You notice on this edge, of course, it's brushed steel. And right away then, it's going to have this uh, beveled edge here, right where my finger's pointing, that is going to be uh, high polish. And it does a similar thing on the other side of the case. Do you guys see that? 
Now it's also thin enough profile wise to fit underneath your cuff. I love that, I think it's great. Now let's take a look at what actually powers this watch. Okay, so I'm gonna take off the NATO band here for you guys to see. And as I'm doing that, you'll be awed by this amazing movement. Now this movement is an 8400 caliber movement that was created in-house by Omega. They've done everything themselves on this watch and it's really, really a kick-ass movement in every way, okay? Take a look at that and on, you'll notice here on the case back, what else sets it apart? It has the words engraved into it, Spectre, because for obviously reason this was the Spectre watch. Okay, it has this anti-magnetic 15,000 gauss in case you happen to walk into a nuclear power plant and you need protection for your watch. Well, there you're gonna have it. All right, now I'm gonna show you a few other cool things about the dial itself. Now, wh why, do, why would I want this watch? Well, one, just for the coolness of, this is the exact watch that uh, James Bond wore in the movie. Not something similar, this exact, well, this exact model, I should say. Okay, and w one of the things I'm gonna uh, point out here is the, the cool second hand. This is what's called a lollipop second hand. The second hand is this thing that's moving right here. And it looks kind of like a lollipop, doesn't it? And you'll notice that the hour markers are, are what? Well, this is not a normal patina. Most patina these days is either white, well actually most of them are usually white, but this kind of has a vintage look to it. It has this uh, sort of weathered, patina to make it look vintage but this is a brand new 2016 now if you guys watched this movie you'll remember he turned this bezel when he was tied up you guys remember that scene he turned it it started ticking he threw it he killed the bad guy took the girl and saved the day so if you guys want if you guys think that's cool and most guys do then this is probably the watch for you unfortunately it's super limited there's not really that many of them out there and they go quick. The minute they go for sale, they're almost always gone. All right? Now, I'm gonna try this watch on for you. You guys can take a look at how, what it looks like on the wrist. And if you like this video, and you wanna see more videos like this, or see us review other videos, leave a comment below it. Let us know which watch you want us to do. Do you like what we've had to say here? Well, let us know. If you don't, let us know as well. We wanna know. Check us out at jazztime.com. We offer a one-year warranty, free shipping, and a low-price guarantee. We can't wait to see you at jazztime.com.